eye injections and all you need to know about them. This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care Hyderabad. How are injections given inside the eye? These injections are given 3.5 millimeters from the limbus. The limbus is the junction between the cornea and the sclera. If these needles are very, very fine, you rarely feel the needle going into your eye. So it's almost a painless procedure. These injections are given after instilling anesthesia drops. The whole procedure takes about one minute. Why are they given? If you have been diagnosed with a condition called wet macular degeneration, you require anti-VEGF injections. In this picture, there is a red blood clot in the center of the retina. This is because bleeding has happened in a case of macular degeneration causing sudden blurring of vision. Injections are given to reduce the bleed, to reduce the growth of these blood vessels, membranes growing under the retina shrink, and eventually a small scar is formed. Vision improves dramatically after injections, and these must not be delayed. Macular edema is a condition in which there's swelling in the center of the retina, causing blurring of vision. This can happen due to multiple factors. Normally, steroid injections can be given in this condition. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy is a condition in which blood flow to the retina comes down, causing new abnormal blood vessels to grow. Injections are given to reduce the growth of these vessels. Vitreous hemorrhage is a condition in which bleeding happens inside the vitreous jelly, causing blurred vision. Injections help to reduce the bleed and the vessels causing the bleed. In vein occlusions, there is a blood vessel block within the retina. This causes macular edema. Injections can be given to reduce the edema and improve vision. What happens? In proliferative diabetic retinopathy, anti-VEGF injections help reduce the growth of abnormal blood vessels. In cases of macular edema, injections help reduce the macular edema and improve vision. Pain? There normally is not any pain because anesthesia drops are instilled inside the eye before the procedure. Your surgeon has to ensure high quality needles so that you don't have any pain. Are there any side effects? No procedure is without side effects. However, the side effects following injections are extremely, extremely rare. Red eye is a common side effect and it happens because of uh, bleed in the conjunctival space. That's because your surgeon enters in an area where it's too congested, too many blood vessels, and that's why it ends up with a red eye. This is not at all a problem and it goes within a couple of weeks. Floaters can be seen especially if steroid injections are given because it causes a shadow on the retina and these white objects floating around can cause floaters. If you've been given a dexamethasone implant, it is possible to have floaters much longer than two weeks. Endophthalmitis is a very rare condition in which infection happen in, happens inside the eye. There is pus within the vitreous cavity. This is extremely rare and it happens only if the injection itself is contaminated. So it is extremely important to ensure good quality injections. Endophthalmitis is treatable most of the time with antibiotic injections. Cataract can happen. It can happen immediately if there's a problem with the procedure or it can happen a year, two years later, especially if steroid injections are given. However, cataract is very much treatable with surgery. Glaucoma is a condition in which the pressure inside the eye increases. This can happen after injection of a steroid. However, it can be treatable, treated with eye drops. Retinal detachment is extremely rare and happens if a retinal tear has happened during the procedure. This also is treatable with surgery. What are the do's? Ensure good blood sugar control. Ensure you do not have any other infections at the time of this procedure. No fever. Stay calm. Do not move your head or eyes during the procedure. If you have any pain or drop in vision, 
Rush to your doctor. Do not wait for your appointment. What are the don'ts? Do not delay. If you need an inter intravitreal injection, if you need something because you have a problem with your retina, do not delay your injection. Some patients believe that things will become all right with time. It does not work that way. If you need the injection, you need it. Do not delay it. The risks are less and the benefits are very, very high. So if you were to choose between taking the injection or not taking the injection and because there are so many side effects, so many risks, you are making a mistake. You do not delay your injection. Do not splash water in your eye after the procedure. This is just to ensure that no contaminated water gets into your eye. Do not forget your medication. If you've been prescribed drops, please use your drops on time. And if you have been prescribed blood pressure or blood sugar medication, do not forget to take those medicines. If you need an injection, call us for an appointment at 720 